Hello and welcome to Life Cycles of Frogs and Butterflies. It is the week of May 11th through the 15th and I am so excited about this unit because frogs are fun and butterflies are gorgeous. So super fun. We're still talking about the life cycles this time with animals in the animal kingdom. So I'm going to go through this packet real quick um, so that we know what we are dealing with and what kind of videos to look for. So, uh, flat go bingo. Cha-cha. Um, another fun one, go on a nature walk um, and look for frogs, like obviously, and butterflies while you're out there. Have a dance party with me, design me a new outfit because I could use a change up, especially now. And I want to apologize. Um, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Okay, so, oh, give me a tour of your home. Oh, I love that. Another fort and sweet treats. You can eat sweet treats with me all the time. Okay. Um, you have, some of you have a frog sticker sheet and some of you have, uh, what were the other ones? Maybe a plant and then maybe butterflies and chickens or something. I thought the whole pack when I got it was frogs and turns out not so much. So have fun with whatever life cycle sticker sheet you have. Um, and then for the work, we've got this guy. We're gonna put the life cycle of a frog in order. I'm going to do another video and we're gonna talk about that whole life cycle. So you're gonna cut these out, put them in order. Um, this is the five little freckled, uh, Five Little Speckled Frog song um, that, I don't know if your mom knows it, but it's like, five little speckled frogs sitting upon a log eating the most delicious bugs, yum yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four speckled frogs. And then you do four, three, two, one, and here's your little sheet. And if you wanna do it nickel style, you can turn it into some kind of funky rap and make up an ants about it frogs. Okay, this is same and different. Some of these are easy, like too easy. And then some of you're like, wait, and then like so easy. And then like, wait, what comes next patterning? Cut these guys out. It looks like it's AB patterns for the most part. You should be able to do this in your sleep. Little trickier. I did not color code this for you. You have to figure out what these words say. Green, blue, orange, red. And then color appropriately. This is some uh, higher counting and recognizing um, your numbers 10 and up. You can do this. This is easy stuff. You're going to count, touch and count. Mom and dad, see if they are touching and counting and making sure that they're staying um, on target. Cut these guys out, glue them where they belong. Here's another set, goes up a little higher. And then switching gears to the butterfly and the caterpillar. This is the sequence of how that happens. Some coloring sheets, color key, color the numbers, those spaces, the correct colors, and you're gonna have a gorgeous picture. Some more addition and subtraction. I have heard that you guys some of you are blowing through this and it makes me so happy. So it's one thing to know your numbers. It's another thing to know how to add and how to count up so we don't have to go back and count the same number again. And then it's a whole other thing of remembering what that number looks like so you can write it down. So you go, subtraction, addition. Um, matching up the beginning sounds to these rhyming words, these word families. We're doing ip and og. Ip and og. Some of these are kind of weird and you might need some help. Like I had a minute trying to figure out what that guy was doing. I was like, paper, post it. Turns out it's flipping the page. Fl Speaking of things that are wacky, I was looking at this just now and I'm like, oh yeah, sax, 10, rim, I don't, what was that supposed to be? I think it's supposed to be an H for hop. 
So listen, for you advanced kiddos, you find these weird things and you put a stop to it. You say, this one does not even make sense and I want you to make your own word and I want you to be proud of it because you know the beginning sound and the ending sound and you know your vowels and you show this page who's boss because I don't, I don't, if you know what that's supposed to be, like, let me know. Same thing on this page, uh, this guy right here. That is called a clothespin, not a clothes pig. A peg? Fix it, somebody fix it. And then this guy. Now this is not just beginning sounds, it's beginning sounds, ending sounds, and some of them in the middle. So lots of good juicy work to do. Um, I don't know if you guys are done with your um, draw and write journals yet with your whole alphabet. I'd love for you to show me a little sneak peek, take a little video, flip through some, read them to me. You should be able to read them back to yourself. Um, and then if you've started some new journaling with new words, uh, new stories, I'd love to see that. So for this week, we are going to, you should have a little rock in your bag and Google eyes. So what I did not put in there was green paint. Ooh, so hopefully you have some green paint or green markers or green Sharpie, green food dye, and we are going to paint that rock and turn it into a rock. I'll do a video for that. And then we're also going to paint a symmetrical butterfly. And so we're going to do some painting on one side and fold and rub. And then when you open up, like, ah. okay, so that's what's coming up this week. Um, cannot wait. Love you. Have fun. Rocking out.